Two days after those torrential rains hit New Orleans, people are busy cleaning out storm drains and debris off the road, but many are also cleaning out cars that got flooded. JD Cunningham has tips on what to do if your car took on water. Floodwaters may have receded from Saturday's storm. It's called flash flood for a reason. It just comes out of nowhere and starts flooding. Which means for the many drivers who own a car that flooded, getting things checked out and dried up. I got an air filter. Dry as a bone. Was a priority Monday. That is fantastic. Especially for those in mid city, which was hit hard by high water. Well, we had a larger shop vac yesterday. I think we got between the two of them, we got about eight gallons out. And I just got another gallon out of the vac. We're probably going to put some fans in to try to get that. I just threw some like peppermint oil in there to see if that can't help. But Aaron Mugovan was actually on vacation when the storm hit. We started getting all these texts from neighbors saying, do you have a spare key? Where? And came back to a car that had already been cleaned out. New Orleans is really like that where people do look out for each other and if it, it and they had their own messes to deal with. That was the thing that was really, you know, touching to me. So what should you do if your car flooded? Oh, here we go. Step one, don't turn it on. Instead, start drying it out. Look under the hood and check all electrical components. So, water didn't get that high, so those are fine. Thank God. Check your oil and check your air filter and your gas cap before you do it. Make sure nothing got in there. And if you're lucky how we were, you just go ahead and replace everything and keep going on. While not ideal, it's a situation Trent McGill says he's been through before. I've been through so many of these things now, it's no longer just panic or anything. And he says it's always beneficial to have a plan for not if, but when it happens again. And of course, you want to clean the inside of the car as best as you can, getting as much moisture out. Also, if the car is drivable, you want to uh, drive it for a couple of miles and then at one point change the oil and the transmission fluid. Well, we have some personal experience I, I right here. I was just vacuuming my car just an hour ago. <laughs> How's so, it looking? Not good? Uh, it's looking fine. It's not smelling great. Well, peppermint oil is always a good thing. Saw lots of those cars with <laughs> all of their doors open all over Mid-City today, so lots of work to do, Jade. Yeah. Thank you.